Welcome to Kony Mobile Fabric Engagement Services tutorial. In this video, we are going to cover the basics of how you can use Mobile Fabric to engage and communicate with the end users of your mobile applications. Mobile Fabric drives user engagement by delivering campaign driven messages as well as event driven messages to the end users. Additionally, external systems can also send notifications to devices using a direct API call. Each time an end user installs a mobile app, it registers with Mobile Fabric Engagement Services. The user will indicate their opt-in for the push notifications on their device. During opt-in, the device type and any additional user information is stored within the Mobile Fabric. Additional data and analytics about the user is captured as they use the app. Campaign administrators can also create user segments and associate them with messaging campaigns to target information to certain users. These rules can also include contextual data as well as users' location based on geo boundaries or beacons. Mobile Fabric Engagement Services also allows the creation of events where an administrator defines the message and actions for a given event, and these events are triggered by the client app or by any other backend system. The input to the event API is the user or device to target plus any substitution parameters that are needed for the outbound message. The messages sent by Mobile Fabric can include push notifications, rich pushes, emails, two-way SMSs, and passes for the Apple Wallet. Now let's log in into the Mobile Fabric and look at the engagement console. As soon as we log in, the first screen that we see is the dashboard. Now here we get an overview of the applications as well as uh, the campaign activity on the dashboard. Now, as you can see here, there are total 61 campaigns that are already set up. And also we have a total of uh, 10 devices. The number of users right now is zero, but that count will go up as we continue with this demonstration. On the applications page, we can see the various applications that are already installed on this server and see the number of users, devices, active campaigns, and available events. Next, we are going to go to the subscribers page. Now on the subscribers page, you can look at all the devices that are already subscribed to the various applications. And also we can, we can see the number of unique users along with the apps that they have installed. The users can be clicked on by looking at the users tab. Right now we do not have any of these users, but then we will create one in this demonstration as we go on. Next, we are going to take a look at the engagement section. Now on the engagement section on the left hand side, there are pages to manage the campaigns and managing the events, as well as sending one time ad hoc messages to one or more users. Now these ad hoc messages can be initiated from third party systems using an API also. There is also a page to create and manage user segments and a page to define locations using both geo boundaries and the iBeacons. To demonstrate these basic capabilities, we have a demo application that allows the end user to create a user profile and opt in for the messaging. So one of the first messages that you see that pops up uh, when you install the application and start the application is asking whether it is okay for the engagement services uh, to send out the push notifications. So I'll go ahead and click okay. Now this is a screen whereby we can go ahead and create the user information so that the user can get created on the engagement server. Now we can go into the messaging server itself and see whether the user has been successfully added. So we'll go again under the subscribers under the, and the users. And as you can see, all the information of the user has been successfully added. You can see uh, the username, the phone number, the email address, along with all the device information on which this application has been installed. And on the next screen, you can go ahead and subscribe for the different kinds of notifications that you would like to receive from that particular app. So right now I'll go ahead and subscribe for all the three. And here, when I go to the devices, my device is the last one, and this is an Android device. And as you can see, it says that I'm actually subscribed for the push notification. You can also go in to the users and see that I'm basically subscribed for the push notification as well as for the email, as well as for the SMS. Now, I already do have an existing campaign that is running on the engagement server right now. And that particular campaign sends out a 20% off coupon using a rich text message to any user who is in the Alabama area. 
So right now, if you may recall, we, we actually created the user with the state as being Florida. So what I'll do now is I will go ahead and update the state information of the user. And once the state information has been updated using the application that is running on the device to Alabama, you will see that there is a new push notification that comes in to the application that is running on this particular device. Next, uh, let's take a look at the campaign that I just talked about. The campaign here is called as Acme Welcome Discount. Uh, now we can look at the campaigns by going into the engagement section and clicking on the campaigns. Now, when you click on that campaign, you will see that um, the name of the campaign is Acme Welcome Discount, and you'll see the start and end times of that. And when you click on the Select Users tab, you see that I've chosen the segment called as Acme Discount Segment. Now, the segments can be viewed going into the Engagement section, or we can click on the segment here. As you can see here from the details of the segment, the condition for the segment uh, based off which the users are selected for this campaign is when the state attribute of that particular user contains Alabama. So I'll just go ahead and close it. Again, coming back to the campaign, we can see that this campaign is currently running. Now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and change uh, our user state information from Florida to Alabama, and that should trigger a message from this campaign. So let's go to the application on the mobile device. Now, I can go ahead and click on my profile here. So when I click on my profile, I can go ahead and update the information. And what I'll do here is I'll update the state information from Florida to Alabama. And as you can see, it has been updated successfully. And we also got the rich push message that was sent out as soon as this update was done. So let me go ahead and click on the show. And once we click on the show, you'll see that um, the coupon is displayed on the device. The next thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, events. Now, events work very similar to campaigns, but instead of being triggered by the user segmentation rules, they're triggered from an external system using an API. Here on this particular screen, you can see the trigger event option. So when I click on the trigger event option, it'll allow me to enter an event ID um, of an event that is already set up on this engagement server. And then that in turn will basically trigger um, a notification. And to look at the events that are already set up on the engagement server, go to the engagement section here, and then we can click on the events. As you can see, there are two events that are already set up here. There is a status upgrade event as well as a test event. Now, when you click on the status upgrade, you will see that it has been set up to send out uh, a push event message. And uh, the message basically says, um, dear, uh, the first name and the last name, these are dynamic attributes and they get replaced by the first and the last name of whoever the message has been sent to. So from our sample application, as you can see here, I'll just go ahead and enter the event ID number nine. Once the trigger event is clicked on, you will see that the request is successfully queued. You'll see a message, and then that causes that message to be sent out by the event as the event is triggered. And as you can see, it says, Dear Mutlidhar Selam, which is my first name and last name, along with the message that is congratulations on your status upgrade to Platinum. For more information about the engagement services or other features of the Kony Mobile Fabric, please visit developer.kony.com.